hi leo welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well this is going to be for leo sun moon rising venus and north node i know some of you all have been asking if i do personal readings i do not do personal readings um at least not right now um sorry for the inconvenience but i just wanted to let it be known because i know a lot of people have been asking and i've been forgetting to say it <laughs> to say that i'm not doing any right now so just wanted to get that out the way so this is going to be your reading leo um please just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your um situation it's not going to be for everybody also remember to flip and switch the roles um as they apply to your situation i could be picking up on third party energy and i could be picking up on your person you know just outside energies people that you are energetically tied to or deal with okay so let's see what's coming out for you at the end of the reading i'm going to pull and see what signs are significant and i have some advice from spirits from my moonology deck okay so let's get the overall energy and let's just see what is going on for you guys let's see bottom of the deck we have carriage okay so you're building that strength and carriage to do something um maybe to go on a brand new journey and start fresh maybe you're needing the carriage to approach someone or um you need to put on a brave face to do something hmm. yeah because you've been stuck with something so let's see for leo spirit leo sun moon rising venus and north node what is the overall energy please for leo <clears throat> overall energy spirit for leo my lovely leos what is the overall energy okay so we have deception in reverse so yeah there's some lies coming out okay you got you guys could be um there could have been some gossip around this here a lot of he say she say I'm hearing envy. Somebody here could have been very envious of you. Hmm. What, what else? So there's some secrets coming out. Or there's there's people talking about whatever you have going on. Behind a mask. Yeah. Okay. So somebody wearing a false mask. Could be in a friend group here. So you need to watch your friends or something. Somebody's hiding behind a mask. What else? Professional assistance. Okay. So for some of you, this could be like a court situation. You have to get assistance for whatever this is because the secret that's coming out or that has came out could have something to do with um, legalities here. Um, what else was I picking up? This could be in a workplace as well. There could be some gossip going on around... Um, a workplace I'm hearing for some of you people that you work with are not to be trusted or something hmm so let, let's see what let's just see what's going on spirit guys angels for Leo what is going on with my Leos somebody trying to stay hidden though but this shit is coming out <laughs> this shit is definitely coming out whatever this is for Leo spirit Let's see what's going on for Leo. Bottom of the deck, chill vibes. Okay, so you could just be chilling. Didn't, and didn't I say envy? Here's envy right here. So, yeah, let's see what's going on for um, Leo spirit. What is going on for my Leos, please? Game over. Yeah, something is over. <laughs> I feel like whatever this is came out yeah then we have milestone so and then we have great gratitude so you're going to be thanking your lucky stars that whatever this is this came out and you can move on you're reaching a new milestone in your life okay some of you all could be getting promoted at work and people are envious of that or something i don't know but somebody here is weird so we have game over what else Something here is completely over attracting. Okay, yeah. So now that this is over, you're manifesting. You're able to manifest. You're attracting things, okay, that are meant for you, I feel. What else? 
<clears throat> standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. Okay. Yeah. What else? One more. For Leo, please. And we have burning evidence. Yeah. <laughs> this is why this professional assistance is here because somebody is trying to like really hide some shit. Okay. Somebody. Then we have doing drugs. Okay. So this could have something to do with drugs. All right. Somebody, somebody's really trying to hide some evidence about something. Let's see what the cards say um, for you guys, Leo. Spirit guys, angels, why is game over here for Leo? Why is game over here for Leo? <clears throat> Somebody is funny. Somebody really tried to burn some shit or was trying to get rid of some evidence of something. Something that they did. Why is game over here for Leo Spirit? Please and thank you. We have, okay, Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is you standing up for yourself, defending yourself, really fighting for what it is that you are wanting, okay? You could have blocked someone or somebody, you know, could have blocked you. It could be vice versa. But I just, you know, I don't feel like it's the collective. Even though, you know, karmic karmics do watch this shit. Um, yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're really standing your ground like this card is saying. So let, let's see. Why is game over here for Leo? Page of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, whatever this is was like bad news. Could have been about a child for some of you. Doesn't have to be um, someone here. Could have could have like revoked the offer or um, didn't give you the promotion or raise or something like that. But it was because somebody lied about something. Could have been for some of you. Yeah, I feel like whatever this is made you feel very uninspired to do something. You felt, somebody here felt very insecure here. What is this? What is this page of pentacles? Yeah, king of cups in reverse. What else for this page of pentacles? Two of wands and the seven of pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody invested into someone that is very emotionally unavailable, very immature, doesn't know how to express themselves the proper way. So now I just feel like you are looking ahead. You're you're making plans to do something here, Leo. Or you could be having to um, make a choice here, okay? But I just see that um, there's some like self evaluation or really looking at the investments that you've made, okay? You might not be too proud of them, but you know. Whatever this is that's ending, it's for your own benefit. It's for your own good. So just let it end. <laughs> okay. Um, it could have had something to do with work, like I was saying. Um, maybe there was some, like, workplace drama. Like, I don't know. Maybe you caught feelings for someone at work or someone caught feelings for you. Some shit got started. A romance started. And I don't know. This shit just spiraled out of control. <laughs> somebody, somebody could have revoked an offer here or... Um, based on the feelings that they have for you here somebody was trying to maybe intentionally sabotage a opportunity for you you could have been waiting for something to come in okay yeah the two of wands and the seven of pentacles like waiting you could have been patient for something what is this seven of pentacles the star so yeah, being hopeful, being optimistic that something will, will come through for you. What else for the Seven of Pentacles with the star? I don't know. I just feel like you are... Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles with the star? The Empress. So it could have been something here that you were trying to birth here. It could have been with your divine counterpart here with this, the Empress card, which is the divine feminine. It could be a Taurus. That could be significant here with this earth energy, these pentacles, or Virgo or Capricorn. But I just feel Taurus energy strong and Aquarius. But um, either this Empress was waiting on you or you were waiting on this person here. 
but you were dealing with some type of deception here. Maybe someone, maybe you lied to your empress about your feelings or, you know, it could have been either way. Or you were just dealing with some shit at work. 10, 10 on the timer. So yeah, something's definitely coming to an end here. Yeah, then we had the 10 of swords. Something about a betrayal here. Um, There could be some travel involved. You could be you could be making plans to come towards this person. Maybe this person is waiting on you. Okay, you invested a lot of time. So for some of you, this is somebody that you already invested in from the past here. But things maybe didn't get off the ground because of whatever this deceptive energy is. But somebody's being hopeful and optimistic about something. Somebody wants to heal things and balance something out with their person or whatever with it with, uh, with whoever this feminine energy is. Okay, what is what is attracting for Leo? What is this card here? Six of Swords. <laughs> Somebody got their ass into some bullshit here. Somebody got their ass into something. Um, this could be like delayed travel plans too. So whatever plans you had have been delayed here or has been delayed for a long time what else for attracting but this is like the sister swords in reverse is like not moving things into calmer waters going into a hot ass, yeah hot ass mess whatever this five of swords with the six of swords in reverse somebody here got themselves caught up into something they thought they were attracting something good and they were attracting the exact opposite here and i feel like somebody is now seeing yeah they're seeing that they need to raise their vibration because you are you, you are what you attract okay so somebody is learning a very valuable lesson about something yeah the ace of wands with the lovers hmm. very strong sexual connection that you have with someone what else for attracting so yeah somebody here likes to play mind games or do a little petty shit. What else? Somebody here is trying to purposely, I feel like, cause a delay in your plans. Yeah, the three of wands. You're trying to get somewhere. Or somebody's trying to get somewhere. Definitely a lot of travel involved. You're waiting for something. What is this three of wands? You're waiting for some type of ships to come in so you can make your move. Yeah, ten of pentacles. Okay, so you could be waiting for some money here. Family could be in the way of this, trying to stop you from moving from moving forward but you could be waiting for a payout like i said um getting some professional assistance with something so you could be waiting for like an inheritance or you could be waiting for some type of wealth to come towards you here um you could be going towards a family dynamic you're going towards your happiness here whatever this ten of pentacles is this money here but i feel like this is what you're waiting for because this has really delayed your plans and i feel like somebody here is in the background trying to stall this whatever this is maybe someone owes you a, t a shitload of money or something here and it's just taking too long but i feel like yeah we have the nine of swords and the justice yeah there's definitely a court situation here that you're waiting on so you can move on i feel like you do look at someone as your ten of pentacles as your happiness as uh you see someone abundant or you see that you can have this abundance with this person but yeah, you're waiting for something. Somebody is waiting for this this money or something. What is this five of swords? Seven of swords, yeah. Somebody here is a thief, a liar, a cheater. Somebody here is really trying to like it's it's bold right here. I, like I've had bold readings, but this is just very clear that somebody is trying to sabotage whatever this is for you. They're trying to cause delays. They're trying to keep you stuck. They're trying to do whatever because they see that you are attracting abundance and you're done dealing with them with whatever this shit is and you're just over it. Okay, you're over it. You're done. I feel like you are being strategic too with your, your moves. I feel like now that you've learned this lesson, you have to be strategic because it's, whatever this is, they're not letting up. What is the stand in your ground ready for um, battle for Leo? Yeah, eight of swords. Someone trying to keep you stuck, keep you mentally confused, keep you trapped. For some of you, somebody here could be getting locked up. 
But yeah, I feel like you was in your head about this for a long time, okay? Remember to switch the energies. I could be talking about somebody else. But um, what else for standing your ground for Leo? Yeah, two of swords. A lot of... You could be dealing with the air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius is your opposite sign. What else for um, standing your ground? The moon. Yeah, whatever this is, has came out. Or it is coming out. Whatever these secrets are, it's coming out. I feel like somebody is really trying to cause you a lot of confusion here. With this moon in reverse, it can mean that um, someone here is not listening to their intuition or listening to their higher self. Okay, their they're, like, third eye is blocked or something. But I just see this as you as well. You're coming out of fear. Whatever this is. I feel like I feel like you're not scared of whatever this energy is anymore. I don't feel like you were necessarily scared, but you were just like, you know, trying to play it safe, but it's like, okay, now it's fuck you for real. Because you're doing too much. So what is this eight of swords? The sun, yeah, you're someone is literally trying to block you. This is you, Leo, with the sun. Someone is trying to block your happiness here. I feel like something does make you happy and you're standing up for that shit. You're not being bothered with this. Okay, but something here is being illuminated. So you're you're getting ready to see something very much clearly now, Leo. What is this two of swords? Because um you could have not had all the information to something here. Something here could have been hidden for a very long time and it has been stalling, okay, your movements here or delaying them. What is two of swords? For Leo spirit. What is the two of swords for Leo? King of Pentacles. Yes, something about your fucking money. Your stability. Okay. What else for the two of swords with the King of Pentacles? Yeah, eight of wands. Okay, yeah, so something is picking up. You're getting communication about something here, Leo. So something is going to become clear. If you're not clear about this right now, you're still in this two of swords energy, like feeling stuck or confused or um, guarded because you just, you don't know what's coming. I feel like there's communication coming about your um, money. Um... Maybe there could be like a masculine energy coming to tell you something or I don't know. There could be communication coming from a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn about money. Could be, like I said, a court situation where you could be receiving communication about this. What is this eight of wands here? The five of wands. What is this eight of wands with the five of wands? Queen of pentacles. Wow. So now we have the king and the queen of pentacles. So definitely a match here. A married couple. Okay. So some of you guys could be married or this is a, a person that you are seeing as, as marriage material. They're your perfect match. But this is what's in the way. This arguing, this fighting, this competition, whatever this shit is. It could be about money. For some of you guys, something is going to be revealed about maybe your person got married to someone just for finances and this is the shit that's, this is the outcome of getting married to someone just for money. You're dealing with a, I'm getting this a lot in readings. People are just money hungry as fucks. These, this is weird. But yeah, I feel like the only thing in the way of you and your happiness with this person or with getting this money is this fighting, this arguing, this somebody here trying to keep you stuck. I feel like something is getting ready to take off really fast, but there is something here that's going to somebody here is going to try to stop you or multiple people are with this five of wands. Yeah, because there, there's a match here with you and someone else. Both of you guys are very loyal, very stable, very sincere, very honest. Okay a good perfect stable union and we have this bullshit here so someone's going to try to talk to you to start to pick a fight with you or start an argument but i feel like somebody's going to tell them themselves and it's going to clear something up for you it's going to be like you're going to be like okay you know i see what this is now so now i can move on because maybe you're not too clear or you're not trusting your intuition at this time but some something here is definitely going to be revealed you're going to find out that somebody's a fucking loser what is this burning evidence for Leo? 
Yeah, three of pentacles. So yeah, work situation or somebody that you collab with or signed a contract with that you're probably trying to get out of this shit. Now you're trying to get out of it because you see what it is. This person, someone here could be burning some evidence, like literally burning paperwork or hiding things. Someone here could be trying to get you to stop focusing on this and focus on them and, and they're, they could be beautiful or something, but they're a fucking loser deep down inside. Like they put on this front, like they don't, they, they, um, you know, like they look good or something, you know, with this three of pentacles, you see how this person is like painting this naked woman here. It's just giving me a vibe that somebody here is trying to distract you from the issue at hand. <laughs> while they run around and try to do shit what is this uh burning evidence the strength here you are again leo what is burning evidence knight of cups someone here could be trying to like um i don't know why i'm hearing this but somebody could be trying to send messages to you and whoever this is around you or goes through your shit and deletes the messages so you never talk to this person again because you want to offer your love to someone or there's a love offer coming in and you're having to be bold and courageous to do this. You want to actually work with somebody. You want to be with someone. There's, this is like a partnership you can grow from. And um, you're gaining your confidence and your strength back to offer this person your cup of love. But I just feel like somebody here is trying to do some dumb shit. Let's see. What is this three of pentacles for Leo? Queen of Cups. So now we have the King of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups upright. So yeah, I just feel like you have feelings for someone else and then you have manipulative energy here that something didn't get off the ground with them. This Page of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups is in reverse here. Something didn't get off the ground. Somebody somebody could have been could have seen that they invested into the wrong person. Somebody here is just fucked up. And now someone here is seeing that um they could actually grow with whatever this partnership is. You guys can make money together, run businesses together, run a whole empire. What is this um, Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups? The Nine of Wands. So you're like wounded warrior energy. You're tired, um, but you're not giving up on something here. You're a little bit guarded. You could be guarded when this person offers you something here. Who is this Queen of Cups? For Leo, spirit, please. Who is this Queen of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Someone that's abundant, um, very successful here. This could be a business owner. So this could be a work situation. I mean, you could be loving someone at work, which is, okay, not a problem. Just don't get anybody in your business. That's when the problem starts. But yeah, someone here that's abundant, that could really help you. But I feel like you do have feelings for them. Yeah, this person is very nurturing, very caring. And um, you just look at them like they're just everything. But there could be some guardedness here. Like you're pretty guarded or you're just tired. You're just worn out from working so much um, to get to this point. But just be careful because somebody. So there's people here that's trying to do some shit. Yeah, somebody here is being very weird. So just always be on guard, you know. Use your intuition. What is this? Um, what is the potential outcome spirit for Leo? Page of Wands. Yeah, good news. Yeah, Page of Wands. Then we have the Ace of Wands. So something here is coming in. This situation could involve kids here. Okay, this could be a um, baby mother, baby father dynamic, a family dynamic. But nonetheless, there's some good news here that's coming in. There's a message here for you Leo or this is you ready to embark on a new journey you're getting good news so whatever this is this money that's coming in for you or whatever this opportunity is could be in love or anything you're going to be able to move forward you're going to take inspired action I feel you're going to be planning accordingly and whatever this is is going to help you move move on could be towards this passionate new beginning here with the ace of wands um, whatever creative endeavor this is that you're doing at work okay it looks like it's going to be good here, but it just looks like, I don't know. It looks like you have someone at work that is trying to like stop you from getting a promotion or this could, if it's love, somebody is trying to stop you from going towards your person. Okay. And they fucking with your money in some type of way. 
This is very weird energy. So let's get some advice for Leo Spirit. Advice for Leo. Yeah, you know what this is, though, because you're standing your ground against it. What else? Um, what's the advice for Leo Spirit, please? So we have new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Okay. Last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. In bottom of the deck, we have full moon in Pisces. Forgive. Yeah. Forgive this idiot so you can move forward. It's for the best. <laughs> okay. Focus on what is coming into your life. Focus on the, um, the milestones that you're taking. This could be a celebration coming up for some of you. Okay, a, a certain type of event that's happening in your life, uh, accomplishment that you are, um, you know, something here that you're accomplishing here that um, is going to be good for you. So don't even, whatever this is, it's just like stupid shit. This is dumb. <laughs> it's annoying too. Whatever this shit is, is annoying. So let's get the signs here and let's see. What signs could be relevant? See, I just feel like you're tired too, um, Leo. You need to take a rest. It says make time for self-love. Someone here could be a Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, or Pisces. Okay, signs for um, Leo spirit. What signs could be significant here? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have North Node and Capricorn. North Node and Libra. Moon and Taurus. Mars and Taurus. Moon and Sagittarius. North Node and Gemini. Mars and Libra. Um, Mercury and Aquarius. Rising sign in Aries, Mercury in Cancer. Rising sign in Gemini, Jupiter in Pisces, North Node in Aquarius. Jupiter in Taurus. Sun in Virgo. What else? Two more. Venus in Pisces. And Mercury in Libra. Bottom of the deck, Mars in Gemini. Okay, so those are the signs. So it looks like you're going to be moving forward from this anyways. Like you're starting new. You're starting fresh. You have some good news coming towards you. It's going to help you. It's going to propel you into this new beginning for you. Because whatever this is, is just lame. This person is a drug addict anyways. They're very, um, yeah, they're, they're under investigation. Whoever this is doing drugs and then we have investigating. So somebody here. <laughs> yeah. So this was your reading, Leo. I hope this helped. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.